Hello. In this video, I'll tell you how you can create a new data store using SAP BOS. <coughs> so we'll begin with the BOS sort of PPT first. Is a let me start a presentation. Data store is how it looks like. Actually, it's a bit unclear. In real, this is how it looks like. Rack. So let's move on to the next slide. What does it say? So agenda is data stores. It comes under the objects. Wherever I mentioned DI, it's SAP BODS. Because it's a data integrator as well as a data quality tool. <coughs> it's a data store, it's an object of it. So, so data store. Let's see some points about it. Data store represents connection configurations between data integrator and databases or applications. These configurations can be direct or through adapters. It's saying you can connect, uh, you can configure data integrator that is SAP BODS and uh, database or applications through this data stores. When you say applications, uh, like for example, SFDC, Salesforce.com is application. In order to connect to that, you need an adapter. Because the uh, adapters give, uh, give you a way to connect to their web services. So in place of database, you can have adapter as well. In short, data store can be used to connect data integrator that's BODS to the database or to the applications. Next, data store configurations allow data integrator to access metadata from a database or application and read from or write to the database or application while data integrator executes the job. This, you can uh, access the metadata. Metadata is uh, like, for example, if you have a table, it has got its schema, like number of columns, column name, and the strength of the column, the type of the column. This is called the metadata of it. So you can have metadata from database or applications and you can read the table or you can write into the table. This is what it says while executing a job in BODS. It provides a logical connection or channel to a database. Must be specified for each source and target database. The cities are used by data integrator to read data from source tables and load data to target tables. So these are the points about it. Let's go to the next slide. So define to define a database data store. So this is how it looks like when you open the video still. Let me go directly to the tool so that will be easy for you to understand. Let's remember this screenshot. This is the same. Okay. This is a data store tab. So you have project, jobs, workflows, data flows, transforms, and data store. It's mentioned. So these are the uh, data stores that I already have in my local repository. That's 14. In, in order to create a new one, you need to go here, right click and say new. Give it a name. Then a type. There are so many options to it. You can have a size and application for that unit adapter, this adapter. And so many query, big queries you can connect. Oracle applications, people, soft. There are so many options to it. Even you can connect to BW as a source and target. So for BW, you need to have two different databases. If you want to read from BW, you make it source. There are some other things to it then target this but in case of databases you can uh, use the table for uh, loading as well as reading data database type let's say sql let's ask for the versions Beta version database name if you see in the example database name it's Oracle, it's a connection in this database name, it's dev. So it depends on uh, uh, what name your admin has given. For example, if I go to my SMS, my database name is EDW, DS EDW staging. So I need to write here DS underscore EDW underscore STAGING staging. Sorry, this comes here, Control X, database name and server name. You will get it from your admin. So basic server names and a username, password, and in order to transfer it, it is mandatory. Then just apply. No, it was an error because I don't have any options to it. I don't have credentials for this. So this is basically how it goes. You need to right click and these options. You need to fill in all the options. Here they have chosen like Oracle. I chose SQL. So there was some a bit difference. And uh, to add more information, go to advanced. Advanced. This is here. So like a rows per commit is thousand. If you want to change it to two thousand, you can change it. It's nothing but uh, 
after what amount of data after what uh, number of rows you want to commit it into the target table say if you have source uh, source side you have 1 lakh records after every 1000 record you want to save it into your target not by one by one so this option there's so many options to it code page you can change our uh, code page so we'll see it in, uh, in some other video this is what other options The next is table import. Say you have created a data store. Since I did not, cause I I didn't have my credentials. Let's consider this one to be the newly created data store, and I want to import a table. A table. I have a table in my SQL. This is it. Select star from employee. Employee is my table. So I want this to be imported into my database in my repository. You see, it's not in here. I have employee copy, not employee. So I want to import that table. Go to it. Say import my name. E M P L O Y W. It is case insensitive. I can write this as well. So it's imported. Go here. Now you have employee. What it says. This is other option, but it will take time. It will it will hang my system, so I didn't do that. This is an one more system. The other option is double click on it. The other option is just double click on it. You will see this option coming. External metadata and repository metadata. Repo if you click repository metadata, you will again see the imported tables. If you click the external metadata, you will see the tables in the database. okay so this is the second option what else is mentioned in here it says with data integrator we can import metadata for individual tables using data store data integrator stores metadata information for all import objects in data store importing metadata through a database that's the step so it says the metadata of the table that is there in the database is stored into your local repository data integrator because if you see I have some connection here. Let's forget it. So I had some I have some schema here. The same I imported. I must be able to see the scheme schema here. If you double click on it, this is a metadata. So you have those many columns present in here. This is what it's saying. It is source a metadata of information. Imported tables. What's next? To view import objects. Imported objects. Just to there's a node of the tables and template tables as well. Tables just this is how it will be by default. Just expand it. You'll see tables, you will see template tables and functions if you have imported. Next, if we have already imported an object such as data store, function, or table, we can re import it, which update updates the object's metadata from our database. Re-importing overrides any changes we might have made to the objects in data integrator. See this how much you. This is our table, employee table, that's in our metadata. Right? I want to re-import it because I have uh, the something, something, uh, some schema of it has changed in my source side. So my source side is database. So let's see. Okay, this is my table. I have I have added a new column in here. So I'll say alter table employee add a new column. See so it's not in here new column. So I'll say add new column. Executed successfully. Now click. You see a new column here. Correct. Now since it is modified in the source side, I want the same to be in my uh, data integrator tool as well. So what I'll do is I'll go to that table, find for the table, am right click on it i'll say re-import now after this flag you will see a new column with the name new column re-import it will ask me yes data i want to this employee there's no change don't ask me again yes it is done let's see is it re ref reflecting or not you have new column so you can see that's what it says it overrides 
re-importing overrides any changes we might have made to the object in data integrity. Yes, you had a flag before I re-imported this. After re-importing, you can so the source and this this metadata is in sync. So this is how you create a data store. And once you have created, you can use it the source or as a target. Let's uh, show you that as well. This just drag. It will ask you for. Do you want to make it a source or target or cancel? I'll make it a source. You want to make a target? You can make a target. You want to cancel it? You can cancel it. Done. So simple. Just make use of it. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope I made it clear. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.